So, the Halo TV show came out on Thursday. It was interesting. Um, <laughs> I won't say terrible, but your enjoyment of the show will vary wildly depending on how far you can separate the mainline continuity from this silver timeline they're talking about. I, I say this because one of the few similarities these two things have in common is the title, unfortunately. Now, I'll preface this all by saying I want to try and stay objective and give them credit when it's due. I mean, when this show is firing on all cylinders, it really is chugging along. But the real issue is that when a Halo fan watches the show, they're probably gonna audibly cringe at how stupid or nonsensical some of the decisions made in this show will seem. I mean, we've had these characters built up over something like 20 years, and to just see them changed so drastically is really difficult. <laughs> I mean, to make matters worse, like the storyline got so toned down, like comes across almost as lazy writing when there was a much more expansive or like even just flat out better reasoning something happened in the original lore but like I, I get that you have to simplify things for a general audience I totally understand that you can't always carry everything over because it just won't fit in the time span that you have but I, I really just think the fact that the creators didn't even play the games is like a major factor to why it's so hard for some of us Halo fans to watch this in general I think that this is a good show. Like, I think for general audiences, I think it's fine. Um, I think it being graphic in the action scenes and having the big name of Halo attached makes the plot lines tangible. And the characters for the most part are well acted. Like the main insurrectionist girl, great acting, really loved it. Um, didn't care for Perengoski as much. He just didn't seem very menacing, but I don't know. Maybe the character is completely different. I, I couldn't tell you. By the end of the first episode though, to a certain degree they are making you want more. For the most part, the CGI. There are a lot of shots that are really bad. I mean, there are some shots that I feel like should have just been cut completely because of how bad they look and they weren't really needed to begin with if they didn't entirely break the show. Like, <laughs> there's a literal scene where the, I don't know if the CGI just failed or what, they are holding a cardboard plasma pistol. <laughs> I mean, if you're drinking or smoking, you'll only notice one or two of them, though. <laughs> there are moments that made even me smile, though, like watching the Spartans fight. I mean, the entire base of troops getting ready, that shit really reminded me of, like, the live-action Halo 3 shorts we used to get, which were dope. And, I mean, honestly, great team suiting up, or whatever they were. Whatever, silver team, I don't know. But them suiting up was cool as hell. I don't care what people say, if they want to say it's an Iron Man ripoff, I, I could give less of a crap. But if you want it to be lore accurate, you're going to sit there and watch them very boringly assemble Mjolnir on someone's body. Like, I, no, don't do that. But, there's a big but here. Uh, the one thing that I think ruins the show for fans and confuses everyone else, and spoilers here, so click off now, if you haven't watched it or you don't want to get spoiled, the chief literally removes his helmet in the first episode. <sighs> Everyone that cared about this show knew ahead of time that at some point in this show it would be happening and that's exactly what they wanted. They, get, they wanted to get a big buzz that the man himself was finally removing his helmet for us to see and to be honest, like personally, I don't think it was a terrible idea. I mean, we've seen how well it worked in The Mandalorian because it was built up and they made it special. And I was like, you know, if they can do it here, totally fine with that. Especially because it's in its own continuity, I could give less of a crap. But here, it's in the first episode. It's not even built up. And it's for like a nonsensical reason, even by general audience standards. Like it comes across as them thinking they're giving the fans, which again, we've already clarified is not the actual fans of the game. It's general audiences but they want fans of the games to feel like this is a payoff i mean that is not what it feels like to us though like we already didn't like this show after getting all the way to the end of it where he takes his helmet off you doing that doesn't make it seem like anything good is happening it just feels like an extra slap on the face like 
it it physically pained me to watch this both times and the second time i went in trying to think like a general audience member would and it still was like bruh the show just seems so out of touch that it can literally only be enjoyed by the masses i feel like and not by those that have actually been waiting for this for years and that's what kind of sucks i genuinely wish that there was a middle ground that you could reach where people that played the games and like you know cared about it and people that just wanted to watch the show could watch it but it seems like that's something that's never going to be able to happen i don't know it just it doesn't seem to work well with much of anything else i don't know maybe some of you are having a better time watching this than i am if you haven't watched it i mean i would suggest you go watch it if nothing else like you can make up your own mind about the show because i really don't think you should just be taking everyone's opinion and running with it without doing like any research yourself but i think in general like cinematography and definitely editing like pacing and stuff wise it was good but anyways if you've watched it or just want to talk let me know your opinions down below i'd love to chat with you all about it and until next time i will see you later guys